hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to understand how to reverse a string using a recursive function so there is a code in front of you which i have already typed to save the time okay so let us understand this code now there is a function and i have given the name to the function that is a reverse string that's the name of the function and it is it is taking one parameter and then straight away in the main program this is the main program and in the main program i'm straight away giving a call to the function and i'm passing a string and that's a reverse that's the string that i'm passing to this particular parameter okay and now let us understand this entire code and whether it is going to reverse the string or not let us find out so I'm just saying that's the string that I'm passing to this particular value so the value of s at the present at present is uh, reverse okay now I'm saying len of s what is len of s that is length of s that is one two three four five six and seven so at present the length of the string I will just write it over here length is seven okay you can you can check one two three four five six and seven so length of s is greater than zero yes it is greater than zero the condition goes true and then straight away i'm printing a value now what value will get printed i'm just printing the value that is s of and i'm making use that is i'm trying to access the index value what index value is this i i am saying len of s what is that seven and I'm saying minus 1. So 7 minus 1, that is 6. And if we check the index value, starts from 0. So this is 0 index value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this is the, this character. I'm trying, I'm actually accessing this particular character. That is E. And that will get printed onto the screen. Understand it. And then I'm ending that with a empty string since I don't want the cursor to go to the next line. Okay then i'm giving a call to the same function that's a recursive function and i'm passing a string that i'm using a string slicing over here and i'm saying starting value i'm not giving anything then i'm saying colon so when i'm not giving any starting value so it will assume from it will take it as zero and then i'm saying the the next value that is the the end value that is len of s that is seven minus one so when I say 7 minus 1, that is 6. So if it is here, it, there is 0 and over here it is 6. So it is going to take 1 less and that is how the slicing works. So it will take from 0 to 5. So basically it will only pass this much of string to this particular S. Understand it. Okay. And then again, I'm checking whether the len of S is greater than 0. Now the length has become 6 because we have just sent one character less. Okay, the one character, I have just sliced it and I have just sent this much of string. So the length of this particular string is 6. Now the condition is true and again I am printing the end value that is S. So first I printed E, now I am printing S. And again then what I am doing is, again I am just passing this much of string that is R, E, V, E, R, V, E, R using this particular string slicing method that is starting is nothing that is zero and len of s that is six minus one that is five so it will go one less zero to four so that is one two three four okay so sorry zero one two three and four till here so that string again s will receive and the same thing will get followed and this is how we can easily reverse a string so if you see that's the string now if i run this program you can see the output that is it has completely worked okay r e v e r s e that's reverse let us give some another value like uh, python and let us run this code and check the output and you can see that's the perfect output right p y t h o n and n o h t by p so this is how you can reverse a string using a recursive function so i hope that this tutorial is very much clear to you if you think you have achieved something out of my tutorial do subscribe to my channel bye for now